Today's medical-centric topic is myelofibrosis, prognosis, and life expectancy. Myelofibrosis is a rare and chronic bone marrow disorder characterized by excessive production of fibrous tissues, leading to the disruption of normal blood cell production. Understanding the prognosis and life expectancy associated with myelofibrosis is important for individuals diagnosed with this condition and their loved ones. In this video, we will explore the key aspects of myelofibrosis, including its prognosis, factors that influence outcomes, and considerations regarding life expectancy. Prognosis of myelofibrosis 1. Variable disease course Myelofibrosis is known for its unpredictable disease course. Some individuals may experience a relatively stable condition with manageable symptoms, while others may progress rapidly, leading to complications and reduced quality of life. 2. Risk stratification Risk stratification systems, such as the Dynamic International Prognostic Scoring System, DIPSS, and DIPSS+, are commonly used to assess the prognosis of myelofibrosis. These systems consider factors such as age, blood counts, presence of specific mutations, and constitutional symptoms to categorize individuals into different risk groups. Factors influencing prognosis 1. Age Older age is generally associated with a poorer prognosis in myelofibrosis. Elderly individuals may have a higher risk of disease progression and complications. 2. Disease stage The stage of myelofibrosis at the time of diagnosis can influence prognosis. Early stage or lower risk individuals generally have a more favorable prognosis compared to those with advanced stage or higher risk disease. 3. Genetic mutations Certain genetic mutations such as JAK2, CALR, or MPL mutations can impact the disease course and prognosis of myelofibrosis. The presence or absence of these mutations can provide additional information for prognosis assessment. 4. Symptom Burden The severity of symptoms and their impact on daily functioning can affect the prognosis and quality of life in individuals with myelofibrosis. Life Expectancy in Myelofibrosis 1. Heterogeneity in Life Expectancy Life expectancy can vary widely among individuals with myelofibrosis due to the diverse nature of the disease and individual-specific factors. 2. Risk Category Individuals in lower-risk categories generally have a better life expectancy compared to those in higher-risk categories. However, it is important to note that individual cases can deviate from these general trends. 3. Progression and Complications Disease progression, development of complications such as infections, bleeding, or transformation to acute leukemia can impact life expectancy in myelofibrosis. 4. Novel Therapies Advances in treatment options, including targeted therapies and stem cell transplantation, have improved outcomes for some individuals with myelofibrosis, potentially extending life expectancy in select cases. Important considerations 1. Individualized assessment Prognosis and life expectancy in myelofibrosis should be evaluated on an individual basis, considering the unique characteristics of the disease, overall health, and response to treatment. 2. Ongoing monitoring Regular monitoring by a hematologist or oncologist is essential to assess disease progression, adjust treatment strategies, and manage symptoms effectively. 3. Supportive care Accessing supportive care services, including palliative care and psychosocial support, can enhance the overall well-being and quality of life for individuals with myelofibrosis and their families. Myelofibrosis is a complex disease with a variable prognosis and life expectancy. While individual factors such as age, disease stage, genetic mutations, and symptom burden can influence outcomes, it is important to remember that each case is unique. Ongoing monitoring, 
Access to appropriate treatment options and supportive care services can help individuals manage their condition and optimize their quality of life. Consulting with a healthcare provider experienced in myelofibrosis is crucial for a comprehensive evaluation and personalized prognosis assessment. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.